Hello. Hello there everyone and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Cathcart. And today I'm doing this a bit differently actually. I'm on my computer today and I am hoping that this is all working and going live. Yeah, I think it is. So welcome again to Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now today, where I am, the sun is shining. We actually have some sunshine and I've been out for a walk. Not a very long one, just 20 minutes, but my goodness me, I needed it because it has been grey, typical British weather. Recently we've had fog, it's been grey, it's been quite cold and really quite depressing as we got to the end of November. And I've, I have to admit, I've been struggling a little bit to, uh, to keep optimistic, to keep being cheerful and, um, you know, teaching online, it's really hard work, isn't it? And I got to the end of last night's teaching and I said to my husband, I'm not sure I can do this for much longer. Um, and then, of course, I get a lovely email from a parent almost within minutes saying, oh, thank you so much for last night's lesson because and for keeping them so fun and engaging because I know it's not easier. And immediately, as soon as people say thank you, you kind of go, actually, I can do this. I am grown up. So what with that? and the nice weather today and having a walk i and then of course i got a little creative so i'm feeling a bit brighter but i absolutely understand and we're all here together really quite struggling i think as we go down towards the middle of the year the depths of winter but we're here thank you for all you do because we all know how hard it is and many other people do as well we're all struggling but I want to share with you a very quick teaching idea because last week we shared Susie Goose and the Christmas star. Lovely. And um, today I was walking around thinking, OK, what else can I do? And of course, um, there is a little chant that goes jelly on a plate, bloop, but jelly on a plate, bloop, whip, 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 jelly on a plate. Bloop. But like so many of these chants and songs, we could change the words. Of course we could. And how much fun would that be? So we could have mince pie on the plate. Yum. Mince pie on the plate. Yum. Scrummies. Oh, very tasty. Very tasty. Mince pie on the plate. Yum. I came up with another one as well. Actually, I've got two more. And the next one could be... Angel on the tree, whoa, angel on the tree, whoa, very sparkly, very sparkly, angel on a tree, whoa. And I'm going to be doing this with some of my younger pupils this afternoon, actually, and I'm going to ask them to see if they can come up with some suggestions, not only for the words, but also for the movements as well. If we want to put a little tune to it, we could do, we could go... Angel on the tree, oh, angel on the tree, oh, very sparkly, very sparkly, angel on the tree, oh. And even, you know, just doing that simple creative activity of thinking some new words makes me go, oh, I'm ready to smile again. I'm ready to smile. So there we go. That's me just sharing that with you very quickly. A little teaching idea uh, for you to use with your beginners. And um, a little thank you also from me to you that we're nearly there. Let's keep looking up. Let's keep supporting each other and moving on because it's nearly the end of term. Thank you so much. Happy teaching. Bye bye for now.